don't fuck with me. I would, I would, I would kill ten people for Hugo or Evie, you know? Like, conversely, I'd help Evie kill anyone. Exactly, exactly. And I, I don't understand because, a lot, like, some people were like that. And then a lot of people were, like, chiming in with, like, you know, oh, you're literally a monster. Or, like, that's some sociopathic shit right there. I'm like, excuse you. What on earth makes you think that we should have any sort of loyalty towards our own, like, you know, what's it called again? Um, species. Like, you know the damage that our species is doing to the world? Like, why on earth should we be protected above all costs, you know? Ridiculous. 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 I'd murder all of you for you. <laughs> ah. Yeah, plenty of people I'd let die to save any random animal on the street. I know, I know. I think, I think it was, um, it was, they were demonstrating part of, like, the trolley problem. You know, like, a random animal on the train tracks, or a random, like, human on the train tracks. You know, but it, it was kind of disturbing the amount of people who said that they would save a random human over their, like, best friend slash pet. You know, that was, that was disturbing to me. I'm like, are you serious? This dog has been with you through thick and thin. You know, and loves you unconditionally, and you're just gonna save a random human over it. And you know, they were like, oh, what about the lifespan? You know, humans have 80 years life in them, dogs only have like 10. I'm just like, fuck that! Fuck that! People have been randomly even doing them at 1 and 5 pm. I think maybe they're trying to do it during work hours to be helpful. Oh my god, that's annoying. Why though? Why? Why? I don't get it. Yeah, what about my lifespan? <laughs> What about the dog's lifespan? I just, yeah, I, I do not understand. I, I but you know, I, I really love my animals. Uh, and the, the dude's mind was actually changed, um, which is kind of interesting. It was, it was changed based on an angle that I hadn't considered before. And the angle that I hadn't considered before, for all you guys out there who are thinking like, yes, I would also save a human over, over an animal. Um, Presumably, you know, if your dog gets sick, you would pay money to keep it alive, right? Um, to like give it treatment and stuff. And you know, this happened several years ago when Hugo got hit by a car and I spent, you know, fucking hand over fist, um, thousands of dollars to save him. And they were like, well, you would do that, but you wouldn't donate that thousand of dollars to save someone else. Like you, you chose your dog. You chose your dog instead of giving that money to someone else, which I think is a really, really interesting angle to, to see that on. Um, it's a really, really interesting angle to see that on. I don't think anyone except for someone who genuinely hated animals would ever, like, uh, like, argue that. You know? I don't give a fuck, pets are family. I know, I know, right? Who keeps tying all this shit to a track? We need to stop them. Yeah, I know. Shittiest trolley problem ever, right? Kind of wonder if they're hoping to keep property values down or something to make their own way. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, that, that, it's an interesting angle, isn't it? A very, very valid and interesting angle that I never thought of. And it was just kind of like, yeah, fuck yeah. I would spend I would spend $1,000 to save Hugo again and again. Would I spend that same $1,000 to save another person? Probably not. Um, probably not. And it, it personally affects me more whether, you know, if Hugo or Evie die, then it would affect me if some random person died. So yeah, I would, I would flip that switch, you know, again and again. I, I flip it all night, you know, <laughs> like, good logic play, yeah, I, I love, I love interesting philosophical, um, like, conundrums like that, uh, I love it, because it's, it's just, it's interesting, because a lot of people nowadays, especially nowadays, fuck me, they, um, they equate their own morality with what is right, not understanding that morality is a period of time and a person's experiences, you know, there, there is no, there is no one true moral stance, you know, it's not, you know, because it, it just, it depends on the time, it depends on the circumstances, everything's kind of like a, like a depends thing. And we're able to come out saying like, this is wrong, period, you know, there's, there's no nuance in that. And I, and I had a discussion with Kitty about nuance. And whatnot, and it's just there's it just feels like there there is no nuance anymore. It's just like this is wrong. It's just like yeah, but is it always wrong in every single situation? You know, from every single perspective. And it's so easy nowadays. Like the the millennials of this generation, they're just kind of like yeah, yeah, it is. But there's just there is flavors to things. There's certain flavors to things, you know, that I find really interesting. 
And that's why that's why I find philosophy so fascinating because it kind of really delves into these questions of like what what is um what is a universal truth? What is a universal morality? You know? And whose codes are we following? Whose codes are we following? We can only follow our own codes. Therefore, morality is flexible. Morality is flexible and means uh, something to other people. Otherwise, you know, it would be impossible um, for like extremists to exist, you know, because they're operating on a different set of morality than ours, you know, stuff like that. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff. Use a gun for that. Wait, you for the fireworks? Once you have the gun. Says devil's advocate. Donate money you barely have to a random person is a choice compared to a pet you care for. I still, I still think devil's advocate uh, arguments are legit. I still think they're pretty legit, especially that one. Like that one, definitely. I don't know. Has a point. Has a point. It has as much of a point as would you press a button that kills an animal or that kills a human being? You know. It's. Still, I feel like it has. Because this is all, these are all, these are all hypotheticals. And usually, like, thinking about, like, the extreme cases makes you sort of, like, question what's right and what's not, you know? A lot of stuff that we are passing in nuance for, though. I mean... <sighs> everyone is the hero of their own story, is what I usually say. Everyone is the hero of their own story, so there are a lot of people out there who think that their, what their opinion is, is the is universally the correct one, you know? There are lots of people out there, you know, um, who think that their opinion is the just the, the correct, the end-all, the be-all, like, no, no other opinion is valid except for my own, you know, so, and I don't think, I don't just, I just don't think life works that way, I don't think life works that way, and I feel like understanding why people think the way that they think is more important and more valid